Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome back to Basic Chemistry. Now we are going to talk about the periodic table, but for this video, it will be uh, general and it's kind of an overview uh, because actually to understand about the whole um, aspect of periodic table uh, will take a long time. But for now, um, because it is only overview, so I will give a short and also general explanation on this video. Okay, now look at this uh, interactive periodic table below. So this is the the periodic table and it is interactive so you can just click whatever you want you can just click the isotope let's say and the or compound uh, properties etc and this is the the periodic table so in this periodic table we can find uh, the element that exists in our universe okay so we have like hydrogen and then the oxygen nitrogen uh, carbon and etc so this is the elements that exist in our world and the position of every element will be the same so let's say you want to download or maybe you want to buy a periodic table then the, co the the position will be like this yeah so in the uh, the corner the right in the left upper corner you will find hydrogen then in others periodic table then the hydrogen will be always in this position okay and for in this position it will be helium so the position will be the same okay uh, well, uh, when, whatever, wherever you download it or wherever you get it from uh, from buying it okay okay so okay we go down the periodic table is an extremely useful yeah so this is very important for us for people that are uh, studying about elements about atom and the compounds uh, this table this table will be very important and very essential so that's why uh, in this passage it is said that extremely useful okay? tabulation of the elements it is constructed so that each vertical column contains elements that are chemically similar okay? so column column mean, means uh, as we know that okay, a table comes of two things um, column or in Bahasa Indonesia we have column and also rows or baris in Bahasa Indonesia. Okay, so um, the this table is uh, constructed so um, the elements in the same column will have uh, similar chemical properties. Okay, uh, a vertical column contains elements that are chemically similar. The elements in the columns are called groups or family. Yeah. So, uh, because this, the hydrogen, lithium, until francium is in the same column. So, from hydrogen to francium, it is called in one group or one family. Also, in the beryllium to radium, because it is located in the same column, then these elements have similar chemical properties. And also, um has uh, the group name okay has the same group name okay so when when you can when you find uh, the, the location of element is in the same column then it has uh, chemical properties uh, it has similar uh, chemi chemical properties okay and then elements in the rows are called periods so this is the period okay so this is column okay from uh, up to down and then column from uh, left to right or right to left yeah so the column is uh, the uh, i'm sorry not the column but the rows or period is like this okay so you the the horizontal uh, area okay and elements in the same period have similar amount of 
uh, electron orbital ya yeah, or shell okay so as we know that in the next pore okay in the next pore this is the nucleus okay nucleus which is contain uh, which, con uh, which contains proton and uh, neutron and then there are cell okay or path pattern where the uh, electron uh, move around okay and every uh, atoms uh, in in different period has different uh, different shell yeah or or different uh, path in in the first period the orbital on the path only one and in the second period okay in the second period then uh, the shell will be two okay the pattern will be two and then for the third period okay third period the shell will be three and the maximum of shell is uh, seven okay seven yeah so we have like a uh, seven shell okay Okay, so this is for the period, and then, oh yeah, so this is the group, okay, you, the, the horizontal position, and then the period is, um, oh no, I'm sorry, this is the group for the vertical position, and then period is for the horizontal position. And then the areas of the periodic table, so, there are three, okay, three main uh, areas uh, of the periodic table. The first is main group, and then the second one is transition group, and then the third one is inner transition group. Okay, so and for and because we are learning about basic chemistry, so we will focus our attention uh, on the main group elements because these properties are easiest to learn and to understand. Yeah, so. For basic chemistry, uh, mostly we are going to learn about the main group. Okay, so our main group is located in this area and also in this area. If we take a look to this uh, periodic table, then main group is like is in this position. This is the main group. Oh, yeah, so yeah, like this. So this is main group. And also in this area. So this is also main group. Okay, and then the transition group is here. So this is the transition group. Okay, actually you can see uh, on this uh, how to say how this is um, color. So transition metal is in this color. So, so this is the uh, transition. Okay. So this is okay. I will use another. So this is transition. So this is transition A group. Because it is trans, uh, because it is a transition area from this to this, yeah. So it is called transition group, and then in the transition group is on the uh, bottom area. So this is the yeah. So this is the inner transition group. Yeah. So yeah, this is the three main, uh, the three uh, general group, main groups, transition group, and inner transition elements. And we are going to focus only on uh, the main group, okay, in this area and also in this area. And I suggest you to uh, start to memorize. Like uh, magnesium has Mg a uh, symbol. And then antimony has SP symbol yeah, because it is very helpful when you are able to memorize the name and also the the symbol. Okay, we continue. 
and several important groups are given names so in this group sometimes we have an important uh, groups and because it is important we have a specific name like in the group a1 in the column one so this is the column one and it is called with um a1 group a1 yeah or the alkali metals yeah so this is so this is the alkali metals okay the alkali metals metals um not including hydrogen so hydrogen is not included because it is not metal yeah it is um gas yeah metal is solid but the, the chemical properties uh, is in the same with the group one yeah so this is the the group a1 okay and then for the column two this is the column two uh it is called with alkal alkaline earth metals yeah so this is the alkaline earth metals this is the alkaline earth metals and then group 7a this is the 7a located in the column 17 yeah so this is the uh okay so this is 2a and then this is the 7a halogens and then the group 8a okay so this is the a uh one two three okay so this is the, the, the 8a which is called the noble gases okay or gas mulia in bahasa indonesia noble gas and then group 1p column 11 uh are known as the coinage metal so there is a chopper silver and gold as we know that uh Group one P a uh, group one A called with coin. Yeah, coin H, yeah, coin H metals. Yeah, because uh copper, silver, and gold is a basic material of our coin. Yeah, so this metal can be also called with coin H metal. Okay. Because coin is made here yeah, mostly uh made of uh chopper, silver or gold. Okay, so that's all about the periodic table in overview. Um, and for the further explanation of periodic table will be explained on the next video. Thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.